Previously on BBB Italia. Oh, yeah? The 999 is admired. Yeah, lovely. And almost runs out of petrol. Is that fuel? No, fuck it. Then we drink beer. Oh, I can't buy an food banana. Sponsored by the Boot Bananas. While I was still upstairs suffering heavily from the night before, Chris was downstairs first, making friends with a horse and some fellow hotel guests. Yeah, yeah, come in. Come All together. All together. Okay. Yes. Hello. Yeah. Hi. 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 Bun bun is the best, yeah? Yes, I see it. it's handle and coming from Apple. Okay, it's handle is the best. Yes. Yeah. You know my horror art for filming? Yeah. Ah. It's, yeah, we're in a movie star. Okay. Yeah. 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 Eventually, my adversary appeared. Rather eggy and looking rough as old badgers. Obviously being an Italian trip, we thought we'd uh, go all out and get some Italian fashion items. From Amazon. I don't think that's very Italian. So we decided to go to McDonald's to give him a happy boost of preservatives and E numbers. McDonald's for breakfast, you can't really go wrong after a bit of a sesh. Yeah, it's the uh, yeah. perfect cure, sort of. Mm. So we're going to do that. Well, obviously, we've got the B500. Mm. But you may have spotted on the way in, there is a, uh, a market. Mm. So we're going to go and um, have check that out, see what tats they've got for sale. Bill coming to the bargain hunt. <laughs> the bargain hunt is done! <laughs> now I know you've seen one of these before. What is it? It's a colonic irrigation tube, I think. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> yeah. I quite, I quite like your t-shirt. Like that. that's, that's, that's very. That's very good. We're, we're compatible. Yeah. But don't keep, don't only look around. Buy something. Okay. We yeah. have we have we have ten we have ten euros. English money to Germany. Uh, <laughs> we have ten euros to buy each other a gift. Yeah. What can we get for ten euros? Ten euros. Is that car boot or a market? Car boot. Yeah. That's why everyone's here with boots oh, of their right. cars open. Right. Oh my god. Oh my word. Now, now that would be going on the front of the Ducati. I don't really understand you. This is actually really good. I could probably run that off the battery of the Ducati and light up. And he is a big teddy bear, isn't he? I think uh, I think I've spotted it. I mean, the, the bike's got loads of horsepower, so there's a horse and there's a Barbie doll, so I'm going to try and, try and get her down to 10 euros. How much? 10 euros? Five? Oh, no. <laughs> 10, done. Ten. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so I've only, got, I've only got that, is that okay? I'm a player. 10? Yeah. 10 for this yeah. one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Same. Okay. Same. Done. Yeah. Deal. Deal. Same. Yeah? yeah. I, I, to be honest, I don't know if this is a, I don't know if this gift is worse for him or me because I'm going to have to look at that. So uh, that was pretty successful, I think. Anyway, the hunt was found. It, the hunt. Das, ja, das hunt. Das hunt is. Yeah. Das hunt is der einen besten. Wo, wo besten, ist der hunt? Besten. The hunt. Anyway, is here. So uh, you ready? Yeah. And you have to you have to carry this with you at all times. At all times, okay? There'd be serious penalties if it gets removed. <laughs> and that's oh going that's God. going on the bike. And so have a little. That's your first gift. Beautifully beautiful handmade German yeah. green faced doll. Yeah. It looks like she's hit a windscreen. <laughs> <laughs> And this one, I think, is even worse. <laughs> She's got a little brother to play with. Oh, my God. She looks like Sam. <laughs> it does look like Sam. <laughs> so there you go. You've got a little brother oh and God. sister okay. Okay. to keep you company Thank you, mate. Throughout, the, uh, throughout the trip. Thanks. So are you ready for yours? <laughs> oh, God forbid. Yeah, I am ready. I'll yeah. just, just, it's probably going to be some homoerotic joke, isn't it? Down there a minute. <clears throat> so, okay. Um, 
the MV yeah. has uh, plenty of poke, plenty of horsepower. So I thought yeah. I'd keep stick to those lines and I went for a... Oh, well, you know, that's actually not bad. It's missing a tail, but I'll let you off that. Yeah, it was cheap. Yeah. And... Uh, Same there, as there a, sa there's a saddle, though. And there is a saddle and there is someone to sit on the saddle, too. I think I know what's coming. Come on. Guess who's back? Back again. Ken is back. He's a bit big on for the horse. horse. He's a bit big <laughs> for the horse, isn't he? How am I going to attach that to the bike? Just tape it. Well, thank you. Anyway, look, yeah, sun's, sun's out. out. We should get going because we've been hanging around eating McDonald's and spending yeah. far too much time at the bargain haunt. Let us go. Today's mission is to go from Baden-Baden all the way down the B500 to the Swiss Alps and find somewhere typically budget to sleep. You ready? I am ready. Yeah. I'm looking forward to this. And now, um, especially as we have our little presents, gaffer tape to the bike. So I'm not sure how long Ken's going to last on the back of there, but I will do my I'll, best to look after it. I'll try not to run him over. Yeah. Yeah. Well, looks like yours has already been run over. <laughs> Yeah, so we got the, uh, well, with, without doubt, the best road we've ridden on the trip so far, because we've done motorway. Coming up, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, the B500, just down the road. Yeah, from Baden-Baden. Get stuck in. Sun shines out. Baden-Baden to Baden, weirdly. Yeah. So uh, let's do it. Let's do it. Because I'm itching to go. I yeah. do need to have a poo first, though. Okay. Are you feeling better from last night? Um, yeah. Yeah, I feel yeah. a bit better. You had a poo at McDonald's. Yeah. And McDonald's generally makes you feel better, sort of. Right. Right, let's go. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Please start. Oh no. Hang on. It's got the full effect of this. What's wrong with it? I don't know. It's not starting. Sounds really good though. It's saying the fuel lights on. Have you siphoned my tank? No. Have you got another fuel leak? We filled it up, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. I've got a dodgy fuel light. <laughs> That's going to be useful, isn't it? Oh god, I feel awful. Well, this will sort you out, mate. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to. That's dirt. And that's Heidi. Dirk and Heidi? Yeah. Okay. Mine's Ken. Yeah, Kenneth. How's Ken doing back there? Yeah, Ken's all right. Phew! Yeah, don't worry about it, guys. Fucking hell. Kajar. I went to push the horn then, I indicated. Oh, I love the sound of this bike. Oh. What shall I name my horse? Um, Giovanni. Giovanni? Yeah. Okay. I don't want to call my horse Giovanni. <laughs> I'm going to call him Buck. Oh, that's, that's original. Uh, and yet again, we're looking for a garage for a Fagan on his Ducati. While we enter this big, dark, wet hole. What's uh, what's two bar? Two point two is thirty four, isn't it? Stupidly, I left the track pressures in from when I went to Donington, so it felt a little bit ropey. The B five hundred carves its way through the staggeringly beautiful Black Forest in southwest Germany, from Baden Baden down to the Swiss border on the banks of the Rhine. Previously famed for Gatto, the Black Forest now holds some of the best biking roads in Europe with a full house of fast sweeping corners, twisting switchbacks and ball achingly beautiful lakes and scenery, plus numerous cake stops for the fatties. Or should I now say, the cake intolerant. Reachable in a day from the UK, this is a must visit for anyone with a motorcycle, regardless of capacity or stature. Our only problem today is that it's a bit wet around the gusset. Oh, whoa, oh, wetty, whoa. Ah. 
Oh, a bit of dry. Oh, Babby. Oh, oh it, it instantly makes your arsehole just relax, doesn't it? Oh. It's a little bit damp again. It's a wetty. It's proper cold now. Oh, mate, I'm freezing. My nipples are hurt. <laughs> I've got cold eyes. <laughs> like my soul. Park and verboten. We'll go over there, can't we? Yeah. We are going so slowly, like our day, not a yeah. travel wise. We're just fucking fanning this right up. <laughs> yeah! <sighs> Dem views. Shut up, Dirk! Better. <laughs> She's happy. <laughs> oh. Oh, we, oh. She's a bit indecent. She's, She's a bit indecent. Yeah. How's that then? <sighs> Frustrating. It's it's nervous, isn't it? Both yeah. bikes are, are nervous on this sort of. Well, mine's fine. Well, mine's pretty. super stable. Super stable. Loads of grip. Okay. But um, I'm not surprised that's twitching his it, ass off. It's it's getting on the throttle. Yeah. That. <laughs> Because there is no nice way of doing it on this. It has to just be ah, ah. Yeah. It's, it's an like on and off switch. sort of thing, isn't yeah. it? Uh, uh. So it's, yeah. It's and the chassis is quite twitchy at the best of times, isn't it? Where this yeah. is nice and long, then, stable, but then and the throttle is just beautiful. It is one of the best connections to a rear wheel I've ever tried, tested. Yeah, mm. I'm sure it is. Well, it is. Yeah, I'm sure your new Brembo Master Cylinder is going well as well. But as soon as the road dry, like you get a little bit of Blimps are dry, it's like, w uh, yeah, this is awesome again. So it's just uh, rain. And I mean, why buy an MV Augusta and ride it in the rain anyway? <laughs> no one does. Exactly. Yeah. It's probably going to fall apart in a minute. <laughs> that, that guy didn't. The well, he must guy. have done. He rode it to Switzerland. Well, in the dry, in the high of summer, because it is absolutely immaculate. Yeah, it is. Uh, luncheon? Should we go find someone for lunch? Yeah. Well, a bit lunch. Of schnitzel. Yeah. I mean, it was, we, we had breakfast, what, 45 minutes ago? So it's probably pretty much lunchtime. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, this is um, them views. The views. It's obviously a shame the weather's just not quite doing mm. it today. But we'll see. It's a long old road, this. So um, hopefully, if we get to the other side, it'll be uh, a bit brighter, dry as a bone, and warmer because it's pretty bloody cold. My nip lays are. Uh, you cut glass with them. Yeah, little button mushrooms. Yeah. Over and out. <laughs> Oh yeah, baby. Oh, I don't know, I think the MV, she feels all right. I'm pretty happy with that. Mate. Yes, brother. How yes. epic is this? And I tell you, this bike is feeling better than it's ever felt. It's, it could be the rubber, because it did have some um, really old, squared off shit tires on it but it feels brilliant. Well done. I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to the camera, you <laughs> <f <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's it. Oh. Oh, oh and Ken's still on. Spread. Oh. <laughs> God, this side stand, literally. Oh, that's minus 100 points. Come on, Ken, up you get. How's Heidi doing? Yeah, it's better. Man. That was jizz. This the bike absolutely suits that kind of long sort of... Yeah. What's Be beautiful. Yeah, Just talk. left, right, left, right. Yeah. Sweeping. Sweeping, long that's sweeping. the one. Yeah. So, and, and that feels at home as well. And when the, not, the speed not... of that. Yeah, it's quick. Oh, those tyres, mate. Oh, feel how warm that is. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, my 999. There's no denying that the Pierre de Blanc design was a little bit marmite to say the least. And it caused major controversy amongst the Ducatisti after the delights of the 916 era. However, I think it looks better now than it did back then. Obviously way ahead of its time. But anyway, unlike that tart Chris, my love for bikes isn't purely skin deep. The 999 is a long, low, stretched out mother funker and takes a while to acclimatise to its foibles. 
almost like no other bike you'll ever ride. Consequently, stability isn't sexy, but the 999's mechanical grip and neutral steering certainly are sexy traits, and proved invaluable on the B500. Granted, I was wishing for the newer, more powerful deep sump model while chasing Chris down and his Italian sewing machine, but at no point was I lusting after any other bike. The Termi boosted sand trap provides pure eargasms, punching hard in the mid-range and provoking needless rev bombs. And unlike the MV and its deluded owner, my 999 is steeped in racing pedigree, winning three World Superbike titles and many more domestic championships, and I honestly felt like I was a morbidly obese Troy Bayliss as we attacked Germany's finest tarmac. While Al is banging on about how good his red thing is, and no doubt how dynamic and balanced and rideable it is, nothing can disguise a blatant truth. The MV absolutely stomps it in almost all areas, and, this being the very last Tamburini MV, the 312RR, it will never lose money. First of all, let's start with my favourite thing, the looks. The F4 was Massimo Tamburini's masterpiece, along with the 916 to be fair. God rest his soul, this bike was designed in the late 90s and still looks trouser-tentingly gorgeous today. It's entrapped me like a siren of the sea, luring me into high running costs and a 300 mile round trip to the nearest MV dealership. It hates being lazy especially the gearbox, which, if below six grand, will make your face do that thing where it screws up in mechanical sympathy if you don't manually blip the throttle on downshifts. It has no flywheel, so throttle application is bottom twitchy to say the least on greasy damp roads. Below 60 miles an hour, with no air getting into those sexy fairings, it will hit 110 degrees, regardless of waterless or non-waterless coolant. But. I don't give a toss about the difficulties it has, because rev the shit out of it and commit hard to corners and riding it hard, it rewards you with a sublime satisfaction known only to those who manage to tame this absolute animal of a motorcycle. Power. It's off the scale compared to the 999, and out of corners it leaves it in a wake of tambourini dust. It takes some getting used to, but I can almost hear the bike shouting at me, COMMIT! COMMIT! God damn it! Trust and the rewards will come. Just don't do it in the wet. So, my summary so far. I was expecting to be either in a recovery truck or on fire by now, so I'm delighted that the opposite is true. Not only is it performing flawlessly, it's kicking the ghoulies of the 999. This is the beauty of looking at Google Maps and going, you know what, we'll take that route. Yeah. There's no sat-nav, no bullshit, you just look at a map and go, yeah, that looks cool, let's go down here. Yeah. What a beautiful part of and the world. And you're not constantly doing this, like trying to yeah. look down. On a sports bike, a sat-nav is horrible. It is quite incredible. We're in the valley. Island valleys. Look at that, what is that weird? Oh, what is that Construction. Is it a prison? I mean, it's beautiful here. Would you want to live here? I don't know. I bet it's hard in the winter. Well, you've got the best of both worlds. I suppose, what, skiing and shit in the winter I mean, and then... What a place to live. I, I do... The more I come to Germany, the more I like it. Yeah. I mean, it's it's got the best roads in terms of autobahns and speeding. Yeah. It's got... I like the food. I like the sausages. I like schnitzel. Um, it's, go skiing in, we're skiing in the winter. Yeah. B500 in the summer. It's got the best porn as well, let's face it, yeah, German yeah. porn. That's yeah, pretty good. Das ist gut, ja. Das ist gut. Das ist it's just the accent I don't particularly like. It's and quite um, abrupt, isn't it? Yeah. Staccato. Yeah. And obviously Adolf Hitler. He wasn't very nice. Oh, Ducati. Woohoo! <laughs> uh. Rain cover, oh hello. Whoa, shit! Fuck, that was tightened up, didn't it? <laughs> it certainly did! Oh, knee down. Uh, oh. Boom! Proper A-framing it. 
Look at this road surface though, it's just... I mean, this road this is like a minor road, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Is... Oh, yeah. Jizzy the bang. Oh, Jizzy the bang bang. This is absolutely heaven. I love it. I'm loving my bike as well. It feels like it's really engaging, like hard work. Yeah, it takes time to form a relationship, doesn't it? It does, bike? yeah. And today, I've fallen in love. Yeah. With me? Yeah. Oh, wow. See, I can roll through here as a classy, fairly quiet, silent. Oh, man, look at that passive individual whereas you just sound like an oik. No I don't. It's a classy noise mate. <laughs> it's not a howling R1 I'll tell you that. No it's, it's not, it's not <laughs> like oh! an Austin racing exhaust on is it? No. This is this is exquisite top end yeah. Chester Stretter noise. Oh, oh. Listen to it. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Ich habe einen Cardiwurst, 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 ich habe einen Cardiwurst auf my farm. Some food? No. Oh, yes. oh, food? Oh, oh. Oh. Food? Yeah. Uh. Uh. No. Uh. 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 U
I can just hear you popping and banging. Oh, I've gone wide. I've followed you all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got him. He's got him. <laughs> Is this fort banging? Uh, I guess so. I'll have to turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> it's a uh, start stop technology, mate. I think the real reason you turned it off is it's going to boil over. Well, that too, yeah. Whoa! Double knee down. Uh. Oh! <laughs> whoa, whoa! Whoa! Fuck me! <laughs> My brakes actually feel really good now. I think the uh, the new pads have sorted it right out. We should be called the A-Team. Why? A-Framing it round <laughs> all these corners. And it's not often you think of Germany being a beautiful country, do you? But no. This area... It's got and they it. make lovely ghettos as well. Ghettos? Yeah, Black Forest Ghetto. Oh, mate. Oh, man. I think we've we just missed the sun. Yeah, well, it's still a nice shot. Well, why don't we go in that drinky place instead, just there, which has got the sun. Is it? No, we need the sun, mate. It's going to be shit. Oh, let's just fuck it off. Okay. Oh, fuck. <laughs> wow, well what a fantastic way to end today. It's been an amazing day on the B500 in the Black Forest and I suggest whatever bike you've got, yeah. come here and ride it. Because I agree, whatever bike, I mean it suits everything doesn't it everything you it's could get incredible. away with a big tra a big tour a big trailies a big adventure bikes yeah and you still be able to chew a few sports bikes yeah absolutely it's amazing so yeah. thank you for watching this episode guys and now we're going to push on and go and get some beer some more beer maybe a gin man that was probably some of the best riding i think i've ever done oh without doubt it's so fucking fast that thing it's so fast i have to work so hard in the corners just to try and make up little bits it's, I, I, I'm, I was riding, like, on the edge of my comfort zone, because I can't, I just can't, literally, you just got to fucking squirt it, and it's like... Mate, you wait, well, let's wait till Magello, eh? Yeah. You should be worried. Team MV, it's coming for you, baby. Team F4. <clears throat> Next time on BBB Italia. Shit. I think we might be a bit fucked here, mate. We hit trouble with the authorities. Big trouble and finally cross the border into Italy, albeit perhaps not on a motorcycle. We decide to drown our sorrows in Lake Como. And Al gets eggy. Excuse me! Shh. Fuck's sake. Fucking patience. Fucking shit. You're upset the Chinese.